You've heard this before, maybe you've even said it. Time flies when you're having fun. Well, scientists in the UK have found evidence that could actually be true based on research just published in the journal Current Biology that shows the apparent passing of time might depend on signals that our brain receives from our heartbeats. CTV science and technology expert Dan Riskin is here to explain why it feels like time can shrink or expand depending on what we're doing. Good morning. Good morning. This is a very cool paper because people always talk about the link between your heart and your mind, and this is actually the link between your heart and your mind. And time. Okay, so the study looks at the relationships between the heart and mind, and what did they find? So what they found is that if a person's perception of how long something lasts is influenced by what's happening with their heart in that moment. So as you know, the heart is a pump and sometimes it squeezes and sometimes it relaxes. So what they did is they had very accurate measurements of their subject's hearts and they either played them a short tone or they showed them a brief image. And then they said, did this last a short time or a long time? And, and they trained these people to recognize the difference between something that lasts, you know, like a fifth of a second versus about half a second. And so they, they would play a sound or show a picture and they'd say, hey, was that short or was that long? And people would try to put it in one of those categories and the answer they gave depended on whether they perceived it while the heart was contracting hmm. or when the heart was relaxed. And if the heart's contracting, everything seems a little bit faster. And if the heart's relaxed, it seems a little bit slower. And as we talk, our hearts beat and then relax and beat and then relax. And it turns out that our whole perception of time is speeding up, slowing down, speeding up, slowing down, which is crazy. Which is why this interview feels like it's forever. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I'm no, but just that's kidding. just it. No, but you, you get to the point. Like when you're in a classroom or you're in some kind of moment where you're just like, glow, oh, please let this end. Well, part <laughs> of what's happening, according to this study, is that it's just because your heartbeat is going slowly. And then when you finally get out of work and you head out into the street and you're walking down the street, then some car zips by and you get a rush of adrenaline or whatever it is. Uh, because your heart is beating faster, more of the time your heart is in that contraction phase. And so a, a larger percentage of the time, time is sped up. And so everything seems to be going a little bit faster. So this is how the team went about learning this. But I'm so curious to know, Dan, like what, how do we use this? What's the application for it? Right. Well, what this really does show is a connection between the sensors in your body that sense your pressure of your blood. We have all these sensors that are activated every time the heart beats and we have what's called systolic blood pressure. And every time all of those are, are activated, they're sending signals to the brain. And it turns out that the brain is using that information to perceive time. And so all of this fits together with that that sort of fight or flight system that we all learn about that when the, you know when the, when the thing hits the fan so to speak and we feel that rush of adrenaline and our heartbeat speeds up everything seems to go a little bit faster and so trying to figure out why exactly that is is one piece of it and then the other side of this coin and this isn't part of the study but this is part of what makes it all interesting is the way we remember things can be very different from the way we experience them so oh. something that causes you to get this big rush of adrenaline might go very fast in the moment but then when you remember it later uh, depending on what it was you might even remember it in slow motion and so this a whole other piece of this that gets really confusing. It's so fascinating. I'm also wondering why I can like look at like reels for an hour and it seems like no time has passed, even though right. my heart's probably not beating very fast. Yes, and so absolutely, that's part of this, is that this doesn't explain the whole story. So there's all these different pieces of the puzzle that all feed back to each other. But I think nobody was really expecting to see this clear a signal between whether the heart is in that moment squeezing or relaxed and yeah. how we perceive time and it's a great little experimental trick instead of getting people all worked up and then recording time over the while the heart's just raging they just did it while they were relaxed sitting in a chair but then were able to time it so precisely to when the heart is squeezing or when it's not and they found the difference they were expecting to find it's just it's amazing dan i was just kidding before our interviews always fly by <laughs> i could always ask you more questions thanks so much <laughs> they fly by for me i can tell you that for sure thanks a lot <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.